So now that we know how fluid and electrolytes are distributed in the body, we can finally talk about what happens when we add fluid or electrolytes to the body. And the easiest way to think about this is going to be to use a, a bit of a toy model and to imagine that instead of talking about intracellular and extracellular components, we're just going to imagine a cell that's floating in a cup of water. And so the inside of the cell is going to represent the intracellular compartment and the outside is going to represent the extracellular compartment. So as we talked about, these things have different solutes dissolved in them. But they have the same amount of solutes dissolved in them. Because if they had different amounts of solutes dissolved in them, then water would move so that the concentrations of solute became the same. So for example, if we had a really high concentration of solutes here inside the cell, and it doesn't matter which ones, it just matters that they can't get through the cell membrane. If we have a high concentration here and a low concentration out here, then this high concentration is going to drag water in by osmosis. So if we wait just a short amount of time, the water is going to shift and we're going to get a new picture that looks a little different where there's still the same total amount of fluid in both the intracellular and extracellular parts. But a lot of fluid has moved into the cell, and so the cell has now gained volume. So that now the concentration of solutes inside and outside the cell is going to be the same. 